Journey Map is one of the best map mods for Minecraft. Not only does it have a full screen map that allows you to see everywhere you've traveled in your world from a top down view, it also has a mini map that lets you see where you are at and what's around you while you're just walking around the game. It can be super helpful for finding biomes that are a bit out of your view distance or even finding things like mobs, monsters, stuff like that. And luckily, this video is going to show you everything you need to know to get Journey Map. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. It's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial on getting Journey Map. It allows you to kind of go through things at your own pace. Um, I personally like text tutorial more. And that's, that's why we have these. But once you're here, if you want to follow along with the video, click on the yellow download Journey Map button. That'll take you to Journey Map's official download page. Now, once you're here, what you want to do is click on the Files button right here. So, right here, and by the way, there's some more information about Journey Map, how to get some help, their Discord, all of that. But once you're here, you want to go and click on Files. Then, we want to find the 1.19.4 version of Journey Map. So, that's going to be right here. Don't go down to the bottom, right? It's right here at the top, 1.19.4. So, let's go ahead and come over here to the right-hand side, click the three dots next to the 1.19.4 section, and click Download File. The file will then downloading after a few seconds. While it's doing that, have been missed from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to get a Minecraft server for you and your friends. It can be public, it can be private. It's got DDoS protection, 24 hours, seven day a week support, and you can install hundreds of mod packs with just one click. Go check out Apex again at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, we've got Journey Map downloaded here in the bottom left of Chrome. You may need to keep it in the bottom left of Chrome or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. But once you've got that downloaded, we'll also need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that basically allows Journey Map to work in Minecraft. And it's not just Journey Map, it's basically any Minecraft uh, mod. Well, that's what this is here for. So, nevertheless, let's go ahead and download Forge. Of course, the link is in the description down below. And when you click that, it takes you to our in-depth text tutorial. As you can see, super in-depth. This one goes through everything, even frequently asked questions, troubleshooting issues. It's all here. Let's go ahead and click on the yellow Download Forge button, though, to be taken to Forge's official download page. Once you're on the official Forge download page, we can go ahead and start downloading it. But first, we need to make sure that 1.19.4 is selected. As you can see, it's not. 1.19.3 is what's currently selected, so come to the left-hand side and select 1.19.4 from the sidebar. Boom, there we go. Now come under Download Latest, click on Installer, and that will take us to Add Focus. We're stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and just wait. And then after about 10 seconds, a skip button will appear in the top right. It's very difficult to see. I apologize for that, but this is how Forge makes money to provide the awesome awesome service it provides to us, the uh, Minecraft community, for free. But that skip button, that gray, kind of hard to see skip button, click that in the top right. When you click that, Forge will begin downloading. Now you may need to keep or save Forge, depending on your browser. That's 100% safe to do, but as long as it has Forge and 1.19.4 in the title, which ours does. So if we needed to keep this, we could. If we need to save it, that's okay too, because it has Forge in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's go ahead and move these to our desktop, just because that's easiest. To do that, Click the little notice icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Then type in downloads. You'll have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here you'll find Forge and Journey Map. You can drag and drop these to your desktop. By the way, if you for whatever reason can't search for downloads here, just go to the this PC section right here on the sidebar and boom, there you go. There is downloads. Now we have these on our desktop. We're actually going to be starting off with Forge. So to do that, you want to go ahead and right click on Forge. Click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, or if your icons look different, then what you're going to need to do is download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required in order to run Minecraft mods, Minecraft servers, all sorts of stuff. You need Java 17 for it. And of course, in the description down below, we have a complete guide on getting Java 17. You may also need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. So go get Java, then run the jar fix, and you should be able to open up Forge without any issues. To do that, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system install for Forge, where all you got to do is click install client and click OK. It's going to download, install, get everything up and running for Minecraft 1.19.4 with Forge installed. The only reason that this may fail is if one, Minecraft is open, 
two, the Minecraft launcher is open, or three, you've never played Minecraft 1.19.4 before. If that's the case, go play it. Just open it up to the main menu with no mods or anything else installed, close out of it, and then you'll be able to reopen up the mod system installer for Forge and install Forge like so. But nevertheless, as you can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.19.4. Close out of that, and now we can delete Forge from our desktop. Let's get Journey Map installed. To do this, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, what we want to do is go ahead and make sure that we have our Forge installation, right? So you'll have a Forge installation that you can play. And that's going to be the best way. Oh, excuse me. I've got a little launcher error there for some reason. Boom. There we go. <laughs> that was weird. I think I double clicked on it. But nevertheless, here's Minecraft opening up. And once we're in Minecraft, we should have a Forge installation. It's probably going to be automatically selected. But if it's not, we're going to show you what to do. And if you don't even have one, we're going to show you what to do because we cover everything. As you can see, for us, it's automatically selected. Go ahead and click play and click play again. But if you don't have this here, come up here to installations. Then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we unselect modded, it disappears. Check modded, there it is. Now, if you've got Forge and it says 1.19.4 under it, go ahead and click play and click play again. But if you still don't have Forge here, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. We're going to name it Journey Map 1.19.4. And then we can also go ahead and select from the version drop-down box, release 1.19.4-Forge. This is the most important part of this, so you want to make sure that the version is the 1.19.4-Forge version. I'm also going to change the resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game, and then click Create in the bottom right. We now have both the Forge installation and the Journey Map installation. Go ahead, click Play. Click Play again by hovering over it there. You can also select it back here and uh, click play that way. Doesn't matter which one you do. And I would just sit back and wait to, for Minecraft to open. We will meet you on the Minecraft main menu to get Journey Map up and running. So here we are in the main menu. From here, we can just click on mods and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was from the main menu with Forge installed, click on mods and then open mods folder in the bottom left. Now, all we've got to do to install Journey Map is drag and drop it into this mods folder, right like so. Journey Map's now installed, but if we come back to Minecraft, it's not here. And to get it there, we actually need to close out of Minecraft and reopen it back up, again, making sure we're launching it with that Forge profile, you know, either the one that you created or the one that was there by default. Luckily this time, though, you don't have to make a new one. It's already there. So you just simply load into Minecraft and click play, basically. It is always worth checking, though, to make sure you are playing the correct version, which we are, and then we can go ahead and click play, click play again, and now Journey Map will be installed once we launch up Minecraft, or once Minecraft launches. Launches. So here we are loading into the main menu. If we go into mods, there it is, journey map. But what's even cooler is if we go into single player, what we can actually do with the journey map mod in game. It is one of the most, if not the most powerful map mod in Minecraft, and it is immediately apparent. So once you load in game with journey map, you've got the mini map in the top right, right? It's automatically selected. It's good to go. And it is working by default. Now you can customize it. I'll show you that here in a second. But as you saw in chat there, it says press J to access journey map. When you first open it up, it's going to give you, you know, kind of some updates about journey map as well as, you know, the websites and things like that. But if we close this, this is what journey map will normally show. Now, the full screen map should be showing in here. It makes you wonder if there's like a, a bug or something. Let's close out of it and then open it back up. I don't know where we're even located. What is happening? That's very odd. It's not here, but we'll try to troubleshoot that here in one second. But if we come down here at the bottom, we can see the options for journey map. And you can actually come in here and change the mini map. For example, you can change, you know, the, the different looks of the mini map, what's shown on the mini map. There's so much customization here. It's overwhelming. And you can actually have two that you can switch between if you want. There's also waypoints. Those can be accessed from here the J mini map and then going into waypoints. For example, let's go ahead and uh, mark where spawn is at. So um, I think the best way to do that, it's, it's going to be a little gruesome, but uh, we've got to get back to, we've, we've got to get back to spawn. I don't, I don't know how else to, uh, to do it. So once we're back at spawn, we can go ahead and do a waypoint. So again, that was press J and we can come into waypoints and go ahead and create a new waypoint here as spawn, right? Like so, and uh, we'll make it yellow, save. So now when we come back here, we can see that uh, the spawn is, oh, that's our death location, but that the spawn is right here. Boom, there it is. Now, for some reason, we are having some trouble with the uh, full screen map. I'm going to close out of this world and log back into it, and maybe that'll fix the issue. There we go. That does seem to have fixed the issue there. 
so we can now see the full screen map. I don't know what that problem was, but loading and or reloading the world, if you will, did fix it. We can also go ahead and turn our creative back on here because I want to fly around for just a second just to show you how powerful this is. At, like even finding biomes, we'll fly over here to our death location. It's quite a ways away, about a thousand blocks. So this will really give the uh, mini map and the full screen map some time to, you know, see what's around in the world. The biggest benefit of this to me running with Journey Map is that everywhere you travel with this mod installed will then be shown on the map, the full screen map. So we don't remember this village is here. Now sure, we could fly down here and we could set a waypoint, which we will do, but we can also come in here and be like, hmm, there was a village somewhere. Let's see, can we find, oh yes, look at that. There's all the village buildings. There's the village, right? You can also see all the different entities as long as the chunks are loaded uh, that are in this village. So you can see all the villagers and things like that roaming around there. But again, you can obviously also set a new waypoint of a village. So we'll do village and we'll make this one, let's see, green because that's always fun. There we go. So now we have our death location as well as the village marked and the spawn marked. So waypoints, it all comes together to make Journey Map, in my opinion, the best map mod for Minecraft. It has a mini map, but it also has the full screen map. It's got waypoints, so much stuff. It is insane. So I want to get over here to the death location, and then we'll pull up the minimap one more time. And uh, by the way, this does work with other mods. So for example, biome mods can be uh, compatible and are compatible with this, specifically Oh the Biomes You Go and Biomes of Plenty. So you can see the entire thing we did there, just that straight line from our spawn location all the way over to here. Awesome stuff. There you have it. That's how you can get a map mod, specifically Journey Map in Minecraft 1.19.4. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to subscribe to the next one. Check out the video on your screen, and we'll see you. Bye.